Hey, I'm Axel, and in this tutorial, we are going to look at grading in HitFilm, or adjusting the color and tone of your footage to create a specific look. We'll be working with the UI from the ADAT in our short film Rebellion, so please download the project files and join me for this tutorial. This project is where we left off in our tracking tutorial, and now we can add some color to this interface and finish off the look of this shot using a few other tools. But first, let's open the View menu, or the Workspace menu on Windows, and switch to the Compositing Workspace. We want to add some red colorization to the interface elements. To do this, we first need all the elements to be white. In the Effects panel, search for the Fill Color effect. Drag it onto the Target layer, then copy the effect. Select UI 1 and 2, and the middle layer, and paste the effect onto them as well. Since these layers contain alpha channels that define their transparency, only the lines get filled with white. And now, we can colorize everything red. But wait! We don't want to colorize the footage, only these UI layers. If we added a grade layer here, it would affect the footage too. So, does that mean we need to apply the effects to each layer individually? No, it does not, because HipFilm has another useful feature up its sleeve. Select the top layer, then shift-click the center point layer so everything except the footage is selected. Now right-click on any one of these layers and choose Make Composite Shot. Name it HUD and click OK. We have now created a new composite shot that contains all of these layers. If we switch back to the ADAT UI timeline, you will see the HUD comp sitting there as a single layer. But inside that layer is a whole new composite shot containing all the individual elements. This is known as Embedding a Comp, or Composite Shot. Switch back to the HUD tab, and we can now add a grade layer, and it won't affect the footage which isn't in this comp. Find the Hue Colorize effect, and add it to the grade layer. In its controls, increase the saturation to 95%, and all the non-black areas take on a nice red hue. Let's add a bit of glow as well, by dragging on that effect, then set the intensity to 1.2, Threshold to 0, and Radius to 20 pixels. Switch back to the Add at UI tab now, and change the Blend Mode for the HUD Comp to Add. Next, let's focus on the color and contrast of our video. It's looking a bit washed out, so we want to increase the contrast and darken it up a bit overall, not only because the footage will look better, but also because that will make our red HUD elements stand out a bit more. Our first tool for this will be Curves. Drag the Curves effect onto our video layer and open its controls. Most effects have the same controls on the timeline as they do in the Controls panel, but some effects, like Curves, have a much richer interface in the Controls panel. Double-click the effect to open it in the Controls panel, and you will see the Curves interface. We can drag this line to add curves to it, which will affect the contrast of the image in various ways. Grab the line toward the lower left corner, and drag it downward a bit, to darken the shadow areas. Then grab it near the top, and drag it up to brighten the highlights. This type of S-curve is very common, and very useful for boosting contrast in an image. Since we are looking at this scene through a viewport, I feel like it should be a bit less vibrant, so let's add a hue, saturation, and lightness effect, and in the master controls, Reduce the saturation to minus 16 or so, and reduce lightness to minus 7. You can do more or less if you prefer. A few basic adjustments like this can very quickly improve the appearance of your footage, and HitFilm has dozens of effects available to use. Sometimes grading will be more intense, though. Sometimes it might involve adding whole new elements to the scene, like the Distortion 3 clip in this project which helps make it clear that we are seeing the scene through a digitally augmented display. Drag Distortion 3 onto the timeline, between the video and the HUD layer. Change its blend mode, this time using Overlay, which removes the brightest areas while leaving some of the darker lines and colors. It's still a bit too intense for this scene, so I'm going to reduce its opacity to 70%. Our last step for this shot is a bit more grading for the video and distortion layers. To add some lens distortion to both the video layer and the distortion layer, so they match our HUD overlays, 
we can add a grade layer above the two layers we want to affect. Remember, a grade layer affects all the layers below it and no layers above it. Add the Action Cam Lens Distort effect to this grade layer and in its preset menu, select the GoPro Hero Wide option. Now, open the Gradients and Fills folder in the Effects panel and drag the Color Gradient onto the grade layer as well. Effects are applied in the order they appear, from top to bottom. So if we place the gradient above the Lens Distort, the gradient will get distorted as well. There are two control points for the gradient, one in the white area and one in the transparent area. Drag the white one to the top of the frame and the other to the bottom. Then, in the controls, change the white color to a dark red. This gradient blends onto the entire scene and helps tie the various elements together. And that finishes off this shot. If you compare the results we have now to where we started, I think you'll agree that a few minutes spent grading in HitFilm can bring a dramatic improvement to the look of your footage. But HitFilm also has great tools for creating visual effects, which are covered in our other Rebellion tutorials. Make sure you check those ones out as well, and thanks very much for watching. Thank <laughs> you.